ships are approaching a port along straight routes at constant speeds. Initially, the two ships and the port formed an equilateral triangle which sides 24 kilometers. Nice. The port P, ship 1 is coming from here, ship 2 is coming from here, forms an equilateral triangle with sides of 24 kilometers. So, this is 24, this is 24 kilometers. When the slower ship travelled 8 kilometers, the angle formed by the new position of the two ships and the port became right angled. Right? The slower ship travelled 8 kilometers. Let's say S1 is a slower ship. It has travelled 8 kilometers. Right? So this angle is 60. It has travelled 8. So let's say S1 reaches S1 dash. This is 16 kilometers remaining. The faster ship would have reached some point S2 dash. It traveled more, more distance. The angle, the triangle formed by the new position of the two ships and the port became right angle. This is 60, this is not right angle. I'm joining S1 dash, S2 dash and 60. This should be longer. This is shorter. This should be the right angle. This cannot be right angle. This is right angle. This is 60. This is right angle. This is 30. The hypotenuse is 16. So S1 dash, S2 dash P. I draw, carve out this triangle. S1 dash, S2 dash P. This is 30 degrees. This is 16. This is right angle. Sin 30 is S2 dash P by S1 dash P. That is half. So this is 16, S2 dash P should be 8. This is 8. Oops. That means S2, S2 dash, this should be 16 kilometers. Nice, brilliant. When the faster ship reaches the port, the distance in kilometers between the other ship and the port will be. Well, the faster ship, so the slower ship travels 8 kilometers, the faster ship travels 16 kilometers. But the faster ship is twice as fast as the slower ship. So when the faster ship reaches the port, that means when the faster ship has travelled 24 kilometers, the slower ship should, ship should have travelled 12 kilometers, half of that. So when this fellow reaches here, this fellow will be just at the midpoint, <coughs> 12 kilometers. The distance between the other ship and the port would be 12 kilometers. Key thing is finding out that uh, S2 is travelling at twice the speed of S1. Then we are through. Beautiful question.